Okay, so in this lesson, uh, we're going to do everything we did last time, but in reverse. What does that mean? The last few lessons, I gave you an equation. Let's say uh, y equals 2 sine theta minus 3. And then you had to sketch a graph, right? Now, we're working in reverse, okay? I give you a graph, and I tell you it's some kind of a sine x plus q. Let's call it, yeah, let's call it x, okay? A certain function, a sine x plus q, and you need to find what a and q are, okay? So you get the graph, and you need to figure out the function, okay? I'm just going to, there's a question here, so I'm going to pause. Yes, Leo? Okay, so how are we going to do it? How are we going to find out by looking at the graph what A and Q are? Just to say you all heard it, actually, we've got the right answers from, from Leo and Janae together. Let's try and remember together what are these A's and Q's. Let's start with Q. What is the Q? It's the shift. It's the vertical shift. Okay, maybe let's start with that. Can you see, can you see that this is a sine graph, right? Yeah. It's a sine graph. Okay. Now, you, what's worthwhile doing, I think, is drawing the balance, the equilibrium. Yeah, I think Oli called it, the, the zero point. Can you see that this equilibrium point has been shifted? Mm. How much has it been shifted? Plus one. Plus one. Normally, it's at the, z, at the x axis. Now, it's shifted by one up. So, I can already tell, I'm going to write it in red, f of x is going to be, we'll write it, a sine x, I don't know what x is, but q is, what is q? 1, because it's been shifted 1. The shift is always easy to figure out first, so start with that. Okay, so it's a sine x plus 1. Are we happy with that? Okay, now a. What is the a? What does the a mean? Stretch. It's a stretch, but it can also be an, a flip. Maybe. It's not always a flip. Okay. Now, by the way, is there a flip here? Yes. There is a flip. See, that's why it's important to remember what a sine graph looks like. This is almost like a sine graph, but apart from the shift, it's also going in the wrong direction. A normal sine graph starts going up. I don't want to draw it here because it's going to just make... Well, I'll draw it, okay? So a normal sine graph will go like this. Okay? Start going up. So we do have a flip. So before I even know what A is, I know if it's positive or negative. What is it? It's negative, because there is a flip here. Okay? So I'm going to write it again. It's going to be minus A sine X. Okay? I still need to figure out what that number A is, but I know it's negative. Right. Now, we're also going back to the stretch. Has it been stretched or compressed? It's been stretched because normally, okay, again, uh, 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 you know, okay, here I need to actually say something else. The A is a stretch, but the A is also the amplitude. You remember we used that word amplitude. Amplitude is how big is the wave, okay? So it's also the amplitude. Okay, it's the amplitude. Now, normally, or oh, how do I calculate amplitude? Yes, I need to explain that again. How do I calculate amplitude? You remember how I told you to calculate amplitude? It's the distance from the equilibrium to the crate. Oh, yes, um, that's one way. But I think the other one that I told you will be easier is half time what? Maximum, maximum, maximum minus minimum. minimum. You can also do it the distance from... I'll, I'll do it both. And you can decide which one you want. Okay. So what is the mix, uh, the maximum in this case? Three. Three. So I'm going to write half times three minus, what's the minimum? Minus one. Minus one. Four. So it's half times four, which is? Two. two. So the amplitude is two. The amplitude is two. Okay? And then um, you guys say that. Okay? So the answer is f of x equal minus two sine x plus one. In other words, A equal minus 2, and Q equal Sorry, guys. Traffic department. I just can't call them now. I need to do the PDP. Oh. All right. <laughs>
Just to finish up, just to finish up, is it still recording? It's not recording. It's not, is it? Okay, cool. Just to finish up, just to finish up, let's go to what Luana said. Luana said we can figure out the amplitude from the distance from equilibrium. What's the distance? What's the height away from the equilibrium? Three. Well, you think it's three, but that's not the equilibrium. The equilibrium, when you have equilibrium, oh, okay. so it's two, isn't it? So I personally like that method better. I can see straight away, all right, the height from the uh, top to the uh, equilibrium is two. From the bottom to the equilibrium is also two. So that's why A is Q. A is two. Can you see that? Okay, I'll pause and give you a chance for questions and then we do another. Okay. Right, chaps, another example. Another example and then I'll give you a little bit of homework and next lesson we are just going to practice this. No, I'm not going to learn anything. So I've got another curve. We're going to call it G of X. Okay? Now, just looking at this curve, just looking at this curve, does it look more like a sine or cosine curve? Uh, it looks like a cosine. I mean, it's not a classic cosine curve. The cosine curve starts at 1 and it crosses at, uh, yeah. where does it cross? At 90. So obviously, it's not exactly the same here, but it is a cosine curve. So it, indeed, it is a cosine curve. But we need to do the same thing for, uh, for this one. But... Before I get find A and Q, let's do a few other things. Let's find, first of all, the maximum and the minimum value. What is the maximum value? Minus one. No. That's minus one. Is that the max? Yeah. Yeah. So oh, I thought you yeah. said minus okay. three. Now, this is actually easy stuff. We, we didn't really do the easy stuff. So now let's do the easy stuff first. The minimum, what's the minimum? Minus three. Minus three. You can see the minimum is minus three. Okay. Now let's find out the amplitude. Minus two. Minus two. Okay. Two. Plus positive two. two. Amplitude is always positive. Is it two though? It's two. Yeah, it's two. Minus one, one yeah. minus minus two plus two. Yeah. Let's try it. Let's try it. Okay. Minus one. It's half one. times the maximum. What's the oh. maximum? Minus, minus one. one. Minus What's minus the minimum? Minus minus three. Minus minus three. One. So that's half uh, four. times four. It's two. Oh, well, it is two. No, oh, no, 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 no. So what is minus one plus two, uh, minus two? two. two. You switch sides. Like you said the thing. You switched up. Okay. Yeah. 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 I was like it's two. Yeah. 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 But you can see that, as you remember, as before, this is, this is minus 3. So the balance, the equilibrium, is between that and that. This is the equilibrium, the new equilibrium. It's worthwhile doing it. The new equilibrium is minus 2. We will need that. And then you can see that the amplitude, yes, it is just 1. Because yes. huh? the distance between here and here is 1. The distance yeah. between here and here is 1. So now we've got the amplitude. Okay? What else do I need? Range. Let's do range. That's easy as well. Remember, range is the allowed range of values of y. 0 to 360. So, no, 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 not the x. I did that mistake, but we rectified it. It's between? Minus 3. Minus 3. And minus 1. Minus 1. That's the allowed values of the y. Okay? We swing between minus 3 to minus 1. Okay. Oh, I it's, thought it was. No, yeah, I made that mistake in the first place. And range, this is the domain. And we, we're not asked to usually. So do if it. I say on accident 0, 2, 3, 6, then you'll make a mistake. Will you give me an extra mark? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have to talk about the y. Yeah, I made the mistake once. Come on, we rectify it, okay? So the range is minus 1 to minus 3. Okay. Now, now comes the hard bit. But after actually we've done all that stuff, it will be easier to find A and Q. What is Q? What is Q? Minus, 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 two. minus two. two. Minus two. The Q really is how much I shifted it down. Now, what's the easiest way of finding why I shifted it down? In my what opinion, look at the balance line. The balance line used to be on zero. Now it's been shifted to minus two. So Q is minus two. So I'll get rid of it. Okay? Right. What is A? What does A what does A mean? What do we say A stands for? Stretch. A is the amplitude. It's the stretch. Now, okay, have I stretched it? The amplitude is still 1. So it's, I can write down still 1. I'll get rid of that 1 in a second. But I have, 
Ah, oh, yeah. Now I need to figure out is it one or minus one? Has there been a flip? Yes. There hasn't been a flip because the original graph yeah, looks like would look like this. Oh, yeah. Okay. So there hasn't been a flip. It's a pure stretch, a uh, pure shift. Okay. So if you leave it as one, that's fine. You can write one, but really you don't even need to do it because it is one. So it's cosine x minus 2. But if they ask you what is a, you write a is 1, q is minus 2. So it's been the test one. Yes. <laughs> it's a tough one, guys. We're Thank getting you. to the end Five. the end bit. But, but guys, we've got the whole, almost the whole week next week to practice this. I know I've pushed a lot today. Next lesson, we're just going to practice it. Um, what I'd like you to do is to finish that bit for homework. Whatever you haven't done, please finish that for homework. And we're going to work on this exercise together tomorrow.